Hey guys, this is David the Chess Nerd Bird with another video. Um, today I am going to be playing in a five minute blitz arena. Right now we got 31 players and it starts in less than 30 seconds. So hope you're having a good day. Uh, I'm filming this on Friday night uh, right at 11 o'clock and this will be posted um, on Saturday. So it uh, looks like this blitz arena will go for two hours. I don't think I'm going to be playing that long, but I did want to get some games in um, so you guys can see those to follow my schedule. So it looks like we're about to start. So I will try to keep up and keep uh, going with my commentary. So it looks like I'm playing Aristic Cars, Aristocars, 1412, and I'm 1487. So he opens up with E4. Uh, big thing is it allows this bishop and this queen to get out. Um, so I think I'm just going to play a French and see what I can do with this. So the idea is to attack, especially in, in the, uh, this is known as the advanced variation, not the advanced, but the advanced variation. Um, the idea is to pile up on this, on this d4 pawn, which is why you play moves like c5, followed by knight c6. So all these moves are designed to um, just attack white's pawn chain. So knight c3. So the standard move here is queen b6, but um, as a ginger GM recommends a bishop d7 move. With the idea that if white plays a3, then you play a quick um, f6 and break open, break down white's white center. Um, against bishop e2, I'm trying to remember. Um, I think this queen b6 is principally principally correct. Just keep attacking this this pawn. And typically in this structure, you don't want to capture on um, d4. As long as white has his pawn here, you want him to move this knight first and then capture on d4. Otherwise, once you capture and white captures, then his knight has easy development there. So that's typically the idea is not to um, not to allow that. I'm just trying to think here. I, I can't remember if f6 is a good move here. I'm also looking at knight, um, oops, knight here to here, or even knight here to here, and then applying more pressure against that that d4 square. Um, I think right now this is just a fine move, and I've got to move faster. I've been talking a lot, so I've got to got to move faster. Take less time to think in the openings. It's just been a while since I played the played the French because um, I've been playing playing the C5 variation with of the Sicilian lately. Uh, so it's Labor Day weekend, so definitely working longer hours at work, um, getting kind of tired. Now I don't think this is a good move, a good move for for White just giving up. Um, giving up the, the d4 pawn. Of course, he's got this bishop to attack my queen here. Um, if I push, that's not good, because I've only got two defenders, and white would have four attackers on that pawn, so that's not a good move. So if you're ever debating, like, if you should play a move, just count defenders and attackers. Um, and then there's also another another little trick to that, but I won't dive into that just yet. Um, so queen a5, so that if he wants to play this move, I can just play, I can play my queen back there, or I could play my queen back to c7 and be okay. So I still have ideas of
yeah, so I still have ideas of getting this night out, um, taking this pawn, um, lots of ideas there. But yeah, anyway, so Labor Day weekend, so works works pretty busy. Um, I could even play knight here and put pressure against that that e5 pawn, or I could just go ahead and win the e5 pawn. Is that too dangerous though? Because if I take and he places his bishop here, then I could just play my knight here. But then he could just back the bishop up and maintain that pin. That's rather annoying. But I do have the, the pawn on c3 would be hanging for him. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go into this. Because I'm getting lower and lower on time talking and, and analyzing and trying not to, to lose. Um, I think I'll just go ahead and pre-move that capture just to try to save me on time. Okay. Um, where do I want to put my queen? I don't want to get my queen trapped. And yeah, I think just bring it back to c7 is the right idea because now I can I can also play a move like e5 okay now I can't play a move like e5 um, I'm gonna um, I will play knight f5 but then after um, he can play his bishop here I can play my bishop there but then he can Take uh, and then my, then my knight on f5 could, could come back to guard. Okay. So since I'm getting very low on time, I'm just going to kind of hunker down here and just finish out this game with not too much more commentary as I try to hopefully not lose on time. Um, do I want to allow that trade? I don't see why not. Then I can just castle to safety. I gotta be careful because my queen is pinned. Um, yeah, I'm getting very, very low on time right now. he would try to come come that way yep I got a few seconds here. This is not looking good. Yeah, and he just went on time. So, alright, so next game, now I've got white, so I'm open up with e4. I'm going to try to play faster here. So, um, c5 Sicilian, standard d6 move. So, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, standard move. So, knight f6 attacks the pawn on e4. So, knight to c3 to guard this pawn and now he's playing what's known as a dragon variation so I'm gonna go into my 
um, English attack here. So now typically knight. Uh, so he's playing the dragon dwarf, if I remember correctly, because a6 and the and the dragon structure. Um, now I don't quite remember what to do against that, but I think he is preparing to play a b5 move here. Um, that is tricky indeed. If I castle on the on the queen side, I think that's still the the standard move. I, I think I just have to have to try it. Um, if I play here, he plays b4. I push, but then he can he can then take, um, and that's hitting my queen at the same time. Yeah, I think I'll play. I think I'll play this move. I don't think I want to go to d5, but I'm also not entirely sure. What else I was supposed to do there? Um, now, do I want to take this pawn? That is always probably going to be a very tricky question to really answer. Um, but I will go for it. I will go for it. Um, that way if I play bishop c4, he can take the knight. Uh, but I could take the bishop back first. And then I'm hitting that rook in the corner. Because um, I was thinking that if he took here, I took back, and then he could pick up this pawn, but I can just take the bishop back. Right. Yeah, see, I can just... Oh, but he gets this bishop with check. That's right. And now he can simply move that piece out of the way. So now I'm down a piece. So I knew that failed. I just, at the time, couldn't tell you why it failed. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm just going to start pushing, trying to get this pawn storm to go through towards his king. It is probably not going to lead to anything. Okay, he might be trying to play this type of setup, but this bishop can just come back and guard against those mate threats for the time being. Right. So technically, I could I could probably just take here. Um, and, and be okay. I don't see a way for him to really... Um, Punish me for that, for grabbing this pawn. Yeah, so like I said, I didn't really see a way for him to punish me with this. Because um, it looks like I'm, I'm holding everything. And like I said, if he plays... Um, bishop a3, threatening mate on on b2, then this bishop can just can just drop right in. 
So, um, so far it looks like I, I might be holding holding this a little bit. Um, Hmm. So you want to trade queens? Does that does that benefit him at all? I'm not quite sure. Not entirely sure if that actually helps or does not help him. Okay, now I'm just up. I'm still down material, but I'm not doing as bad as I once was, I don't think. Probably am. Um, sure. So I can just take here. And then... Yeah, I lost some time once again. So since I've been, I've been trying to commentate during my games. I haven't been playing quite as well. Let's just go ahead and go for the Sicilian. The French just end up a little bit too um, too crazy for me. Just pre move that capture. Oh, okay, so he plays bishop c4 instead. So let's go ahead with queen c7. I'll play a6, preparing this b5, bishop b7, although maybe now that's not really a good move because this this little pawn chain there. Mm. So now if I play here, he would just back up and then I don't really have anything for that. Um, hmm. yeah, I guess I'll, I'll do this. I mean, he might also try to take, but he's got, he would have enough, enough compensation for the piece. So this is Camter with the 1073 rating. Alright, so I'll just go ahead and play Bishop E7. I think next I'm just gonna play D6, followed by knight f6, bishop e7. Um although I could also go for this. G6, bishop G7 idea, and put pressure down this, down this H8 to A1 diagonal. Um, that's also a, an idea, because really my bishop on E7 is not, not really going to, going to be doing anything. Um, regardless, I need to get, I need to get moving. Um, Alright, so just D6, and I'll follow it up with knight F6. Now bishop g5, I've got knight b to d7. Then I can still play g6 and bishop g7. Followed by castles. Kingside. Just gonna pre-move this capture. <clears throat> Well, now I'm not sure if I'm going to play g6 because after this move, um, 
Well, he's not really he's not really threatening that move yet. He's only got two defenders, and I've got three three defenders of that square. Um, and then also if he if he moves there, I can also do some like in between threats of my own. Um, Yeah, I think I think just d6 and putting this bishop on this diagonals, it just looks right with the white pawns on the light squares. I mean, I could be wrong, but that's what looks like should be fine. Should be. Okay, I'll just castle to protect this bishop. So for all the viewers out there, just want to take take a time to say thank you for watching my channel. I hope you guys are learning things uh, from my videos. I don't, I'm not going to proclaim to be a great teacher or player by any stretch of the imagination, but I do hope that some of the things that I'm doing um, is showcasing kind of how how I play, how I study, um, and and how I try to get better. Um, I, I think that's that yeah, can be just as important as some of the actual material that you study. Um, I'm gonna try to push this pawn. I'm worried about this push because I'm not really sure where this knight goes, but I guess I could try to roll him into here and then bounce him into here. Um, that just looks weird, but I can also um, just jump back. Yeah, this is this is what I was I was worried about here. Um, because if he takes, is also it's also a check, so I'm going to end up. End up not liking that either. So, yeah, here I am, just low on time again. Um, it always seems to happen when I when I start studying and I put a lot of time into into you know working on improving my game. These blitz games just are, are too fast. They don't give me enough time to think. So when you're, which leads me to to this piece of advice: when you're when you're trying to get better, you know it's it's better to play slower games. So I shouldn't be playing these blitz games. I should be playing more like 15 minutes with 10 second increments, um, you know, different different structures like that. Um, this just gives me a piece. So he just allowed a pawn fork and um, So yeah, I think I'm just gonna set up this battery. If he misses it, great, I'll checkmate him. If he doesn't miss it, um, I think it still does put some questions to White as far as what he's going to do. Hmm. I guess he could just block it with the knight. That would be annoying. I guess I could just play my knight there. So if he goes here, I could go here. And then I'm going to hit that bishop and this knight. And since I'm already up material. Uh, 
Oh, but what if the queen just takes? Okay, so let's prepare that move first. <clears throat> so that if the queen takes, then I can take back. Um, okay, we'll just go this way. I would pre-move this, but if he takes with the knight, then I'm gonna be I'm gonna be feeling pretty dumb that I gave up checkmate in one. So yeah, so I'll just take there. If the queen takes, okay, so I'll just take the pawn. Hmm, that's gonna be tough. I, I might I might lose on time to this um, thousand seventy three player, but you know time is part of tar part of these games. So, but he's getting pretty low on time too. So. If I can keep it interesting and, and not too complicated for myself on thinking I might just be okay. So I think if he just plays the rook over, I'll play over. If he takes, then I will take um, this pawn. Okay, so he doesn't do that. Um, so I think I'm just I'm just gonna play here now. Hit this rook, and I went on time. Okay, so I came back on that one. That was a, a scary game, to say the least. So moving along, we still have 93 minutes left in this tournament. I'm number 12 with just two points. That is uh, ridiculous. All right, so. D4, so I'll play D5. And now the, I believe this is called the, the Verisov, I believe. I don't, I don't think I've really faced this that much, so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do here. If he plays, all right, so if I play Bishop F5 to try to prevent E4, does that actually prevent E4? Because if he plays here, I take, 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 and I'm up a pawn. Okay, so we'll, we'll try to go go for this. Right, so the, the bishop comes out to hit the knight, so that's the problem with playing this bishop bishop f5 idea. I understand that now. But I can just play the knight here to basically recapture that. Um, So can I just play, play this kind of move? Yeah, I think, I think I think Bishop F5 was probably a mistake there, um, and look at that. I'm already, I'm already so far down on time at, at the moment because um, of my goofy, my goofy thinking. Now I've got, I've got this little pin on the bishop as well. Um, I don't think it's really, really doing anything per se. So I'll just castle, castle this way. He's probably going to play his bishop here. If I had to guess, and I just I didn't, I didn't feel right capturing there. But now I guess he can also push here. Um, but then I do have the I can just take there. So um, okay. I'm just gonna play the queen here, put more pressure here, put pressure here. 
Um, yeah, I think I'm going to try to open up this, this C file for a rook or something to try to get in here and put more pressure down down this piece. It is guarded multiple times, queen, knight, and but if I can get in there, um, I might be all right. So just guarding, guarding this f5 pawn. Okay, and that allows him to get a another defender back there. Um, but now I can, I think I can try to jump in here with a knight maybe. I'm not quite sure. Okay. If he takes, I can take, no, I don't want to take that way because it will jump in here with check. Okay, so one, two, three, four. We got one, two, three, four. So right now it's still even. All right, so here we go. Take that. And now I can take this. Because if either king takes or the queen takes, then I pin the queen to the king. Okay, so he's threatening this. I understand. Is that a All right? So if I if I still play a rook here, queen here, king here, queen here, king back, and that's just like a perpetual. Okay. So gotta guard that pawn. Now he's gonna win this knight, but then I can I can win his knight. Okay. So that's fine. So I didn't I didn't actually lose any material there. Um, okay. So I'm gonna come here and now here. Oh, he's got the he's got this little cute discovery. But he didn't go for it. Because he's gonna just try to flag me on time. So I don't blame him. It's a good idea. Yeah. Alright. Good job. Good job getting me on time. All right, so e4. All right, e5. So knight f3. Just hits this pawn, develops, develops with purpose. This move develops with purpose because it guards this pawn. This is Roy Lopez. If you guys watch my videos on the essentials of opening play, 
then you have already seen this. If I take here, he takes back. It looks like I won a pawn, but after queen d4, it hits both the knight and the pawn, and I can't guard both at the same time. So I don't actually win a pawn there. I could ruin black's structure by giving him double pawns here, but then he gets the black would get the bishop pair, and grandmaster say that's that's better, but. Um, you know, club level players, we don't really know. Um, so casting, I think, is just going to go into the main main lines. Whereas if I play d3, it guards his pawn. I know from looking over some games in the Ro Lopez with this with this lower d3 move that a4 is a typical a typical push. Um, yeah, you know, castle. Yeah, if you place knight here, a lot of a lot of um, you know beginners will play this, thinking they're gonna give up two pieces for a rook and a pawn. Um, that's actually better, better for white in that position to have the two minor pieces versus the rook. So, just an idea on that. So now I could actually play h3 because that would prevent. The knight from hopping in. Um, I could play the bishop here, but I'm not sure if that's okay because the bishop just usually drops back and that can be rather annoying. Um, I could play c3, trying to prepare um, d4 here. I could play the, the a4 push. So yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll play a4. <clears throat> Of course, that does weaken the b4 square. So now this knight can hop in here. This bishop could, could find a home. Um, okay, so he's, so he's saying if I take, he takes, I take, and then either the knight or the bishop could go back. Right, the bishop, and that would block in my rook, but then I have this bishop, that bishop move. So yeah, I think that just drops a pawn for him. Or her, rock royal 1287. Okay, so he goes ahead and plays the knight there. See, I'm pretty sure I don't want to give up the bishop for that knight. And now this is a um, developing move, a move with tempo, because it hits this bishop. So the bishop's going to be forced to move back. And now um, I have some choices here. I could just take. Because otherwise he's gonna he's just gonna push past. But do I want to take and allow? Like if I take, then he could take and essentially develop with tempo or at least some type of threat on on this. Um, yeah, you know what? I, I think I'll just I'm just gonna take. I'm tired of tired of. Wasting so much time on these on these moves. Um, okay, fine. We'll play. We'll play this way. All right. I'm just gonna get my get my rook out from behind this this pin, and it guards my e pawn, so I, I can play this push. that if he takes I'll take he'll take and then he would threaten 
Threaten things around my king there. Um, does that move scare me? Should it scare me? Am I nervous about that move? I don't think so. I'll just I think I'll just take here. Okay, I think I just lock down the center. Makes his bishops look really goofy. My bishop can find a home on this diagonal. I can also move my queen um, out of the way, and this bishop can find find traction on the king side. I think. So I don't think that hurts my position as much as it's gonna kind of weaken this this bishop's potential so we'll see we'll see I've got the I've got the knife for the bishop but I'm also down on time once again so I've got 33 seconds and my opponent has over two minutes so I'm not playing very good with my time management tonight um let me see, usually I'm I'm a little bit better with this. Actually, usually a, a lot better with this um, with this time management thing. So let's see here. Um, okay. I mean, he's not really threatening to take that yet. Once he piles up his queen on it, then then he'll be threatening to take it. Of course. Um, and yeah, he went on time. Thought I might have something with the uh, bishop takes f7, but I probably I probably didn't have anything there. All right, next arena game. We try to do a little better this time. Try to try to do a little better. I'm slowly dropping down the down the leaderboard in this tournament. Okay, so white pieces again against Lamington, seventy nine, a thousand seventy four rated player, and this person's from Switzerland. And they're playing what's called either okay, I don't know what this is anymore. It was like a modern or, or a perk. Pure crew, however you pronounce it. Uh, oh, it says modern defense. I could just look there. I'm also a little tired tonight, so that's probably why I'm also struggling to both commentate and play at the same time. Um, but my motto for this day has been no excuses. Just get results. And so... I'm going to follow my own advice and not make excuses for how I'm playing. All right, does he want to prepare this? Can I play a4 and kind of quell some of that queenside play? So if I play a move like d5, he's got e takes d5, knight takes d5, knight takes d5, pawn takes d5, bishop takes d5, bishop takes g6. Does that work? Uh, I don't think so because he's got this move. Or 
or he can take, or he can just close down the center. That works too. All right. Oh yeah, I guess that pawn was was hanging just now. So I'm missing, I'm missing moves. I'm not, I'm not playing very well tonight, guys I, and gals. I, uh, I apologize for my lack of chess playing skills. I don't know what is going on with me tonight. Just struggling to to find a plan in this position. He's got me by two whole minutes right now. I'm gonna go for this. If he pushes, I'll drop the knight into f5. And then obviously, if he if he takes, then I would just take back. So, but yeah, I don't know. This this king this king looks looks a little sketchy. Um, this bishop's not really doing anything. This bishop not really doing anything. I mean, I see f5 break, but I've got too many pieces on, on f5, so I don't think that is going to work out for him. If I push here, um, I think I can start to open some of this up. I'm just not sure if it's going to be in my favor or not. Plus, I don't really... I don't want to weaken around my king. I don't really see any any other ideas right now in this position. Okay, this king just cannot be good right there. I think I'm going to take alright so he takes that way so if I take he takes I take if he were to take and I, I get that um, could I just take that first and if the king takes, I can take that way. I don't think that works. I think I just need to take the knight. Correct. And now, um, yeah, now I can just start and checkmate. Putting a discovery on the queen. If the knight just moves, that's going to be checkmate after. Um, yeah, that's just checkmate. Okay. Yeah, he, he just let his king, his king get boxed in there, and then, you know, tactically just it fell apart because of the the weakness of the king. So finally got one more victory. I don't know how many games I played. I have played so far. Um, we have a national master in the group in the group tonight, so um, let's see here, where am I? Twenty seventh. So I have played six games and I've got two wins. So alright, so he's playing the French. So against the French I always play the advanced variation. So if you want to ever try me in a blitz game, we can try to play the advanced variation. I will always play it. I will always play c3 after you play c5. Now knight c6 and knight f3. And then usually, like I said, queen b6. Yep. 
And so a3 to gain, gain space. Sometimes black will play c4. And this, my friends, is where I don't know what to do. This is where David doesn't know what to do, but he's just going to play his knight here. Can he play a move like that? I guess he can. All right, so Knight wants to try to come in here. I think I've got to try to play like a B4 idea. Although the problem becomes, yeah, no, I think that's fine. After after he takes here, I think just play Rook B1, and I might be okay. I can't I can't ever remember how to handle the C4 line. So if you want to play the advanced variation against me, I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world for you. Because I don't always know what I'm doing. And so it might be good for you. I thought he was going to drop his knight in here. I mean, obviously it would... Okay, so he's saying that if I take here, he's going to play bishop a4 and pin the knight to my queen. If I just play like knight back, I think I'm okay. It is a knight that's still pinned, and pin knights are pin knights can be can definitely be annoying. I'm still down time, over a minute down, based on my opponent. Um, I think I just I'll just come back this way. At least now I'm threatening to take this knight, and then also be able to take that bishop. Just take the knight because the queen's going to be hit um, with that, and then this is taking with a check. Yeah, I don't think my, my opponent calculated all of that. Okay, maybe he's seeing, seeing more than I am. At the moment, all right, so rook takes b6, bishop takes d1.
Hmm. Yeah, I think I have to go this route because otherwise it's going to end up with this queen with a discovery on my king and I wouldn't be able to move my king anywhere. Um, so yeah, I have to play that, that move. I mean, the rook can take here, and then after the king moves here, though, um, I was a little confused as to where he was going to go. That just lets me get my... Um, okay. So he's just trying to draw me here. So I think I'll just bring my rook here. He won on time. Oh, wow. I'm not having a good night at all. I think I'm just going to play one more game. And then I will call it a night. Because it is almost midnight. So it looks like I've been playing for, yeah, almost an hour now. So I started out with 120 minutes. And now almost down to 60 minutes. So I think I'll play one more. Try and get some type of redemption here. And I'm playing against Edwards, John T, 1365. Um, you know what? I think I will go for a ginger GM style move and just play this classical Dutch. Right, yeah, you're not supposed to be able to allow this e4 push. Um, so, all right.
Okay, so that's going to be interesting for sure. We're just gonna come come out and challenge this knight on e5 square. Um, yeah, at this point, I, I'm I think I'm just so tired. I don't even know I don't even know what what I'm playing right now. It was the classical classical goofiness called the Dutch, but now it's just um, yeah, I don't even know what this what this is called. This is just called David's just playing playing something, but he's not playing chess. He is not playing chess at all. So you watch this pawn. Um, okay, so I think I'll put here first. He's probably going to place bishop here. And I place the pawn there. So I'll just play here, and oh, well, that's not going to be good. Can't just castle there. Oh, and you're threatening threatening that rook. Goodness gracious. I am just missing missing so many things right now. Okay. It's gonna come in here with check, and I can just I can just scoop my king over and be okay. I just I still can't castle because this this bishop's hanging. Yeah, I can just I can just scoot over, and I I think this is I mean it looks weird. I think it might be it might be okay. I mean this pawn structure is keeping my king safe right now. Um, Queen out of out of dodge here, and then obviously if he plays his bishop here, it's checkmate because the bishop and the queen are lined up. If the king just scoots over, he runs into. Um, potentially another problem. Alright, yeah, 
think I just have to, I think I just have to take that, I think. I'm not quite sure. Um, and I just take here, and then play another check. Um, okay, I think I'll just try to get safe here. We see is this move, but I can just block it and be okay. But yeah, I mean, I've only, I've only got six seconds left, so this is going to be be a challenge for sure. Yeah, um, just hit the queen. Okay. Um, yeah, if you try to come in here, yeah, I'm just lost on time. All right, so not a very good blitz session for me. Um, before I lose all my rating points, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. I uh, hope you learned how not to play chess tonight because uh, that was not good um, on my part. So sorry about playing like a complete beginner, um, but I hope you were able to take something away in regards of, like I said, how not to play because this is just um uh atrocious just just terrible so but it is what it is and so if you like the video if you like watching me just get uh, my butt handed to me make sure you like the video and subscribe so you can continue to see me get my butt handed to me in the future so i uh, hope you have a good night a good rest of your day um and i will see you in the next video Thanks for watching. Bye.